Michael. I'm Jacob. And we're going to take a look at problem G, Panda Preserve. Hmm, looks like geometry. Oh, well, it does indeed. I don't like that. Me either. What's the problem about? So, we are given a simple polygon like this that represents a national park in which pandas live. And in order to make sure that the pandas are all right, uh, we want to track them. We track them by deploying transmitters into the vertices of this polygon. But the problem is that uh, if we choose transmitters uh, with very small range, there may be spots where panda can hide and we will not be able to track her. And if we choose one that is too big, uh, it's going to be too expensive because transmitters aren't cheap. Hmm. I'm not too much into zoology and transmitters. Uh, could you express it in some other terms, perhaps? Um, so, formally, we need to place a circle uh, with center at each vertex. And all those circles will have the same radius. And the goal is to cover this polygon with these circles. So every point in this polygon has to be in at least one of these circles. Mm. Mm. That's much, much more clear to me. But it's still not clear to me how to solve that. Mm. Because there are so many points. It's easy to, uh, to choose a radius and check for a given point whether it's in some of the circles. But there are infinitely many points. How can you possibly check all of them? Mm, maybe we can use some binary search first as a first step. Yes, but how to check the actual points? Well, maybe it would be sufficient to only check the edges of the polygon. Let's take a look. So we have this polygon. And he's saying check the edges. So this means that, for instance, if we have this long edge, you want to cover it with one of those two vertices? Well, not necessarily with two. Oh, so with any vertex? And so we're interested in, in the midpoint of the edge? No, yeah, I would say maybe we could find some algorithm that um, um, checks if the edge is covered. I think it's relatively easy because we have just a line and every uh, circle cuts a segment on that line. Yes, uh, so maybe that would be enough. But well, would, it, would it be sufficient? I don't know. Let's, let's try on a simple polygon. This, this one is too complicated for me. Mm, indeed. Let's try triangle. It cannot get any simpler than that. So how do we cover it? Well, if the triangle is equilateral, then to cover the edges, we just need to make the... Radius half of the... Yep, half of each side. So we're going to have something like this. First, I need to draw this. Then we're going to have something like this. This is not going to work. Hmm, what a pity. The panda is going to hide here and I have no way of telling whether she's okay. So maybe there are more points that we need to check. So well, what to do? Well, in this case, well, maybe the center of circumcircle would be enough. Hmm, but we have a polygon, not a triangle. True, but uh, for this case it would work, right? Because the three uh, vertices are the points that have the largest distance from circumcircle. So we just need to find a good set of circles to check. A good, so maybe some good triangulation. But it might, might not work if we pick any triangulation. Because what I, what I see here, if I take this triangle, then the circumcircle is huge and its center is outside. So we have nothing to cover. And in fact, if I triangulate it like this, then all of those are outside. 
All right, this looks like this, and it's probably somewhere here. Hmm. So maybe those circumcenters would be a good thing to start with, but we need something more. Yeah, I think just with any triangulation, it is not clear why that should or should not work, but uh, it would be nice if we could have something that uh, is at least provable. Well, Dillon triangulation would work well, because there we have three points that are the closest to the second center. Hmm. And no other point is inside that circle. So if we do Delaunay triangulation, which we can do fast, uh, then we get some candidates for uh, points to check. But they're definitely not enough, because here we get no candidates. So how do we, how do, we do this then? What, what points would be enough? Maybe we can look at the, look at the duo of uh, Delaunay, and that is Voronoi diagram. Because that also tells us the distances from points. So maybe there are more interesting uh, points there. The circumcenters in Delaunay are exactly the vertices of Volano, right? Yeah, that's the points where more than two lines meet. Yes, but the problem here is that we have an edge that goes like this. It touches the point, it touches the edge here. Perhaps checking this point would also be good. Yeah, that's logical because the, when we move along this edge, we have two other points that uh, in the original set and the distance to those uh, two points is equal. And it's the smallest among all the yep. other vertices. Yep. Yeah, so let's do, let's do Voronoi. Luckily, we don't have to do it in linear time. Well, in linear time, I think it's not even possible. Well, n log n. Yep. But we can do it in n squared because the limits are very small. So at least that's OK. And how many points we get this way? There are definitely at most n vertices or linear number of uh, vertices in Voronoi. But uh, how many? edges cross of Voronoi crossing the edges of the polygon can there be? Is it also linear? Mm. Well, maybe it's more than linear. I don't know. Well, but if it's linear, then we know how to solve that because we have <coughs> n points and uh, we need to measure the distance from n points. And for each such interesting points, we measure the distance from all vertices, take the minimum out of these, because that's the one that we need, and take the maximum among all of these interesting points, and we're done. Um, what if there are more? What if there are a quadratic number of these crossings? Is the cubic uh, solution not sufficient? Yeah, n is up to 2,000, so if anything, it would be very risky to try to pass cubic solution. But you know what Voronoi tells us? Voronoi tells us which vertices are the closest ones. Yes. So we already know that we don't have to check all of them. We just need to check constantly many. And in fact, one is enough. Mm. So for yeah. every point, we check the distance to the nearest vertex. And we take maximum over all of these. And we're done. There are definitely at most n squared interesting points because there are n edges in Voronoi diagram and n edges in polygon boundary. That's sufficient. Okay, indeed. That so was indeed a hard problem. Yes, indeed. Do you think many people will solve it? Well, I think someone already solved it, but I, I wouldn't do it uh, if I were a contestant. Yes, luckily the n is small enough so you don't have to code Voronoi in n log n. That would be terrible. Yeah. 
But even squared is not easy. Yes, but it's doable. Within, within the contest time for the best contestants, they managed to get it accepted. Nice.